To rename a file in Lua, you use the OS rename function. This function takes two arguments. The current name of the file and the new name you want to give it. Old name is a variable that stores the current name of the file you want to rename. New name is a variable that stores the new name you want to give to the file. The OS rename function is called with old name and new name as arguments. This function attempts to rename the file. Success will be true if the file is renamed successfully, otherwise it will be nil. Error will contain an error message if the renaming fails. The if statement checks the value of success. If success is true, the message. File renamed successfully is printed. If success is nil, the else block is executed and the error message stored in error is printed with error renaming file. This code provides a straightforward way to rename a file in Lua with error handling to inform you if something goes wrong during the process. To remove a file, use OS Remove. This function takes the name of the file you want to delete. File name is a variable that stores the name of the file you want to delete. The OS remove function is called with file name as its argument. This function attempts to delete the specified file. Success will be true if the file is deleted successfully, otherwise it will be nil. Error will contain an error message if the file removal fails. The if statement checks the value of success. If success is true, the message. File removed successfully is printed. If success is nil, the else block is executed and the error message stored in error is printed with error removing file. This code provides a simple way to remove a file in Lua with error handling to inform you if there is an issue during the removal process. File permissions can be changed using the OS execute function with the chmod command. 
The OS execute function is used to run an external command from within Lua. chmod755 is the command being executed. chmod is a Unix command used to change the file permissions. 755 sets the permissions to rwxrxrx, meaning the owner can read, write, and execute the file, while the group and others can only read and execute it. My file is the name of the file whose permissions are being changed. OS execute returns a status code. If the command is successful, success will be true. Otherwise, it will be nil. The if statement checks the value of success. If success is true, the message permissions changed is printed. If success is nil, the else block is executed and the message failed to change is printed. This code allows you to change the permissions of a file using an external Unix command with feedback provided on whether the operation was successful or not. This snippet changes the file permissions of my file to 644, reversing the previous permission change to 755. The OS execute function is used to run an external command from within Lua. chmod644 is the command being executed. 644 sets the permissions to rw, r, r, meaning the owner can read and write the file while the group and others can only read it. My file is the name of the file whose permissions are being changed. OS execute returns two values, success and error. Success is true if the command was executed successfully, and error contains an error message if there was a problem. The if statement checks the value of success. If success is true, the message, permissions changed to 644, is printed. If success is nil, the else block is executed, and the message. Error changing permissions along with the error message error is printed. By understanding how to rename, remove, and adjust permissions, you can effectively control and automate file processes in Lua.